Um, I think, um, well, simulation is misunderstood. Actually, simulation. Um, okay, just let me let me try to explain. That will be a bit longer. But there is the real world. Then there is the physical model, which are equations, basically. And then there is an American model, which is simulation. So if you imagine tree, how it is in, in the real world, like beautiful tree with a lot of branches, leaves, and so on, that physical model will describe equations, will describe that tree as the, as the just uh, in triangle leaves, um, uh, very straight branches, let's say it like that. So it's already some kind of simplification, right? And then the uh, numerical model will simplify that even more. But the biggest, well, you can simulate whatever. You can build whatever physical model, you can simulate whatever. Uh, but the, always it will be the question whether it's relevant to your real world um, situation or not. And that to, in order to understand whether it's relevant or not, you need to run experiment. Well, you need to run experiments in order to verify models and to be sure that those models represent the real world and your simplification was not like too simple. Like the, the um, one example is uh, Newton uh, physics of union mechanics wrong no it is not wrong right it's it's uh, pretty excellent to describe how things happen uh, how things um, happen on earth but uh einstein uh, just built uh relativism theory with the correction we happen just close to massive uh, objects say in the universe right so again those like two models which kind of contradict each other but in fact each of them applicable to their own situation but you need experiments in order to understand whether your model is applicable to this particular uh, particular situation or not and uh, how far you can extrapolate actually the up applicants of, of your model so no contradictions there. You cannot. You can simulate whatever and everything, but you need um, experiments, even such expensive experiments, to verify. Uh, 